it was mental abuse, agnostic front, and exodus at Lemoore's. But Exodus being, you know, one of the godfathers of thrash metal, you know, they were the headlining. But, but I was so drunk, I don't remember it. But actually, it was Crumb Suckers, Agnostic Front, Nevermore at Danceteria. That was like, I was 15, I was early 86. It would have to be CBGBs. Absolutely. I mean, that was ground zero for hardcore. That was our home. If I put another one on the list, I, I mean, I had so much, so many great times at the Ritz that we now is Webster Hall. I had so many great times at Lemoore's, but I would have to say CBGB's hands down. Shit, I can't even list myself. Oh man, there's so many, you know, minus, of course. You know, it was great. Uh, back in the day. The brother sang for Absolution. I mean, when you see Absolution play, you were in for a show, but Heath, old skinhead Heath, back in the day, me and him used to be in a pit picking up change. It was a lot. I, I have the, the best one, Agnostic Front at CBGB's, and they recorded it live and cut the album. When I got the tape, I was in prison, and it brought me to tears because I was hearing Roger speak and people in the background, and I knew everybody that he was speaking to, and I was saying, shit, I should be there, man. Agnostic Front at CBGB's, having not been there for that was probably one of the worst things, you know, as a fan of hardcore. This one, this one has to be somewhat of a, of a tie. I'm gonna say the first one, because the Chromags took over. They weren't the headlining band, but they took over the, the show. It was Toxic Reason, Seven Seconds, Chromags, and GBH. Now GBH tore the house down too. They were really good, you know. Seeing Colin spin the mic, City Babies, City Babies, City Babies, Babies, talk about rocks, you know. That was a great show, but the Cro-Mags took over the show. John was on fire, Harley was slapping the bass, just was, the sound was, it was popping. Next to that, I would say seeing 24-7 Spies, Leeway and the Bad Brains at Lemoore's. HR runs out on stage, no shoes on, Bible in his hand. Boom, ba doom ba ba boom, ba doom ba ba doo doo Oh my God, great show. Of course, I'm gonna put Mackie. I'm gonna give a shout out to my brother, Monster, Walter Ryan, who's been in so many bands and inspired other players. And, you know, we love you, brother. And I gotta say my boy, man, cause I love him so much and I love all their music. Armand, from fucking sick of it all, man. I love Armand. He's very talented. Yes, yes, I lived in a squat. I lived in C squat. I lived in was 10th and Avenue C. I lived on one on 8th Street between B and C. Yeah, I lived in a squat. I think it's probably subtle. Probably the best thing. Scott, pick up this amp head and carry it in so you could go in the show. Yo, Vinny kissed me one time. He was playing, they were, they were going in. Roger's on the mic, he was fucking and he and somebody snapped the picture right at the right time and he's got his guitar going in and he's going like this and kisses me right on the fucking cheek my favorite fucking picture been stay focused i know a lot of things are being pushed at you man in the society we live in to sponsor your individuality and to separate you from the people in your community or the, you know the greater humanity but even in your individualism, humans are social animals. We're supposed to connect with each other. We're supposed to bond with each other. Don't go with the idea that it's all about you by yourself and alienate other people. Love each other, come together. And that would transcend beyond any political ideologies, any religious ideologies. Come together, have empathy, understand that other people are going through things emotionally and mentally be there to support one another. That's always what the punk rock scene was about. No, I'm still here. I'm still alive. Shit, hardcore ain't dead. And even after I leave this physical form, I'm not dead. Energy can't die. You know, I may exist in all of you. You know, I may exist in the atmosphere, man. We never die, man. We disperse and multiply. That's what's up. Yo, listen, man. 
hardcore can never be dead.